Tomorrow marks 10 years since the death of Trayvon Martin in Sanford, Florida. The unarmed 17 year old was shot and killed by George Zimmerman, the neighborhood watch coordinator in that gated community. Martin's death sent shockwaves across the country and helped spark the Black Lives Matter movement. ABC Action News reporter Mason Morrow shows us Martin's impact on the fight for African American justice and how publicized video in other cases has changed the way Americans view recent deaths of unarmed African Americans. Trayvon Martin is the one that really captured America's attention. Trayvon Martin is certainly not the first and sadly not the last unarmed black person killed by a gunman. But the teen's death marked an important point in American history and set the stage for a fight against racial injustice. I definitely think it was needed for the nation to cry out for a change to happen for, for itself. The person who helped us stand up and stand tall. Hillsborough County NAACP President Yvette Lewis vividly remembers the immediate aftermath following the 17-year-old's shocking death. It sparked fire up under everybody that justice needed to be served. He was the impetus for Black uh, Lives Matter. The nationwide movement formed in Martin's memory to find the justice his family and other grieving African Americans desperately searched for. Just two years later, the high-profile deaths of 18-year-old Michael Brown and 43-year-old Eric Garner gave the group further purpose, except this time it was different. As time went on, when the video started showing on TV, there were other people, um, Americans, that jumped in to say, wait a minute, enough is enough. The now infamous cell phone video of Garner's death shows New York police officer Daniel Pontaleo put Gardner in a chokehold. Gardner is heard saying, I can't breathe before losing consciousness and later dying from suffocation. Cameras are important in any situation when it's, you know, uh, uh, violence or injustice or just uh, uh, disagreement. It is video evidence that has changed the perspective of so many people and, and brought light to some of the things that occurred. ABC Action News legal expert Jeff Schwartz says the video of Garner's death and other similar camera phone footage, like evident in the death of George Floyd in 2020, is the ultimate decider in the court of public opinion, but warns it doesn't always completely depict what happened. It really doesn't give us the full perspective, but it does make its way onto the air and it does find its way into people's brains and that's what they see. But in the court of law, video from surveillance cameras, police body cams, or a cell phone is enough to seal the fate of the defendant on trial one way or the other. Schwartz says video of Floyd and Ahmaud Arbery's deaths were all a jury needed to see. And if there were video of Trayvon Martin's death, Schwartz says the same would ring true. There have been video in that case, we would have either had no charges at all or we would have had a conviction, one or the other. It really makes that much of a difference how the video It makes that much of a difference in that case. A difference born from the difference Martin first made a decade ago. The fight for racial justice and police transparency lives on in Trayvon's name. Trayvon has brought many things to light, and so we've made progress. However, we must always remember it is a journey to justice. I'm in-depth reporter Mason Morrow, ABC Action News.